أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By the Mount of Revelation a Decree inscribed Scroll unfolded By the much frequented fane By the canopy raised high And by the ocean filled with swell Verily, the doom of your Lord will indeed come to pass Is none can avert it On the day when the firmament will be in dreadful commotion. The mountains will fly hither and thither. Then woe that day to those that treat truth as falsehood, that play and paddle in shallow trifles. That day shall they be thrust down to the fire of hell irresistibly. This, it will be said, is the fire which you were wont to deny. Is this then a fake, or is it you that do not see? Burn you therein, The same is it to you whether you bear it with patience or not. You but receive the recompense of your own deeds. As to the righteous, they will be in gardens and in happiness, enjoying the bliss which their Lord has bestowed on them, and their Lord shall deliver them from the penalty of the fire. To them will be said, Eat and drink you with profit and health because of your good deeds. They will recline with ease on thrones of dignity arranged in ranks, and we shall join them to companions with beautiful, big, and lustrous eyes. And those who believe and whose families follow them in faith, to them shall we join their families, nor shall we deprive them of the fruit of aught of their works. Yet is each individual in pledge for his deeds, and we shall bestow on them of fruit and meet anything they shall desire. They shall there exchange, one with another, a loving cup free of frivolity, free of all taint of ill. Round about them will serve devoted to them youths handsome as pearls well guarded. They will advance to each other, engaging in mutual inquiry. They will say, aforetime, we were not without fear for the sake of our people. But Allah has been good to us and has delivered us from the penalty of the scorching wind. Truly, we did call unto him from of old. Truly, it is he, the beneficent, the merciful. For proclaim you the praises of your Lord, for by the grace of your Lord you are no vulgar soothsayer, nor are you one possessed. Do they say, a poet, we await for him some calamity hatched by time. Say you, await you, I too will wait, along with you. Is it that their faculties of understanding urge them to this, or are they but a people transgressing beyond bounds? Do they say, he fabricated the message? Nay, they have no faith. Let them then produce a recital like unto it, if it be they speak the truth. They created of nothing, or were they themselves the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, they have no firm belief. Are the treasures of your Lord with them, or are they managers of affairs? Or have they a ladder by which they can climb up to heaven and listen to its secrets? Then let such a listener of theirs produce a manifest proof. Or has he only daughters and you have sons? Or is it that you do ask for a reward so that they are burdened with a load of debt? Or that the unseen is in their hands and they write it down. Or, do they intend a plot against you? But those who defy Allah are themselves involved in a plot. Or, have they a God other than Allah? Exalted is Allah far above the things they associate with Him. Were they to see a piece of the sky falling on them, they would only say, clouds gathered in heaps. So leave them alone until they encounter that day of theirs, wherein they shall perforce swoon with terror day when their plotting will avail them nothing, and no help shall be given them. Verily, for those who do wrong, there is another punishment besides this, but most of them understand not. Now await in patience the command of your Lord, for verily you are in our eyes, and celebrate the praises of your Lord the while you stand forth, and for part of the night also praise you him, and at the retreat of the stars.